Hey, Kevin Bob here in the old garage. Well, haven't talked to y'all in quite a while. I know my head's chopped off, but whatever, it's all right. I can't get up and move the camera. So anyway, we started a new project here in the garage. Uh, yeah, this is project uh, 109. I actually started another little project uh, before this. I didn't give it a number. I have to make a... Uh, I got a 12-inch compass that my cousin gave me, and I need to make a, uh, a box or some kind of a plaque to hold that on. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. We'll get into that when I get back into that project. But uh, anyways, in the meantime, uh, I've been dreaming about making a couple little cocktail tables. So this is uh, project 109. So what I did, I cut all these little uh, inch and a half squares. I don't know, will that camera get closer? Let me see. Plus, plus. Yeah, that's pretty close. All right, so I cut all these little inch and a half squares out of some uh, leftover sapili that we had from our, uh, our 105 bar project. And uh, you can see here I've got these glued together in uh, uh, alternating grain. So one grain goes left to right, one goes up and down, whatever. And uh, so we got a uh, Sapili uh, checkerboard, uh, so to speak, on the top uh, for our, our main uh, uh, material. And then around the perimeter, I've got this uh, inch and a quarter by inch and a half um, cherry that we're going to, uh, I'm just getting ready to glue that onto here. And I'm debating whether to put a brass trim around here or whether we're just going to put a brass star in the middle of this. Eh, who knows? We may do both. I don't know. So usually, typically I end up sanding this before I put the uh, border on. I thought, hey, maybe I should just leave this rough and then sand everything at one time. So we're going to try that. Don't know how it's going to work. One thing that uh, did happen when I did the biscuit cutting the uh, table on the biscuit cutter shifted or because I didn't make this flat, I'm not sure what's the problem, but in any event it didn't uh, make everything flush with the uh, perimeter cherry board and our uh, main uh, body here. It didn't make everything flush, so I had to recut the holes in the, uh, in the uh, perimeter piece of cherry. Makes it kind of a sloppy hole, but uh, in any event, I'll be able to at least make this nice and flush top, which I want. So, it's all good. Uh, we'll figure it out as we move along. All right, so I'm just getting ready to glue this up. So, if you want to stay tuned while we do that, uh, that's all fine and dandy. If you want to come back later, that's okay, too. So, in the meantime, I'm going to set my glasses over there. And I'm going to go get a pair of gloves. And then we're going to... Uh, Start up this gluing operation, which should take, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't take a half an hour. Might have to take less than that. We'll see. I haven't got the legs figured out on this uh, on these two cocktail tables yet. I'm thinking I'm gonna make uh, I got some uh, some one inch, I think I had some one inch uh, walnut laying around. So I think I'm going to grab that one inch walnut stock and I'm going to uh, make the legs out of uh, walnut. So that's what we got going. Let me get the, the light up here a little bit. i to put my eyes back on. All right, get the glue. Where's the glue? Here's the glue. And uh, we have to buy some more glue here. Yeah, down to uh, Less than a half a gallon of glue left. Anyways. Alright, so I'm not sure which one of these to start with. I'm going to have to move the camera when I get over this one. So we'll start with this one and maybe I'll just shut the camera off. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is put the uh, glue in the... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put the glue uh, in the biscuits in here in the, in the main, uh, in our main tabletop. Then I'll put the glue on the... Uh, oh, you know what? I should have... Oh, darn it. I think what I gotta do, I gotta uh, put a little bit of, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that first. All right. Uh, yeah, when this all goes together here, when this all goes together, when it all goes 
close together, only uh, part of this piece. Uh, uh, the perimeter board is an uh, inch and a quarter material, and uh, the uh, tabletop itself is uh, is one inch. So the thing is that uh, that I'm going to tape some of this off because otherwise uh, that glue is going to dribble all down there, and it's, uh, it's just a bugger to sand off. I uh, forgot about this, so. Just uh, put a little bit of tape on here. What I need to remember to do is to uh, remember to take the tape off of here shortly after I've got everything glued because otherwise the glue becomes a mess. So. See what do we got? I gotta get my glue. Here's my glue, and I got a brush here someplace. There it is. All right. So, like I said, I think I'm going to. Uh, let me see what I got. That's correct there. I'm gonna go ahead and put in. This gets. dry fit this, it seems like it fits pretty good, so I'm uh, kind of happy with that. I hope, I hope. Alright, so now we're going to set that down there. Then i got to get glue and all of this. See how that works. I don't know. Okay. smaller clamps on here just because they're a little easier to work with right now. Yep, I gotta get Hmm, yeah, now I got a mess here. I got to smarten myself here. Ah! I got to pick this up. Turn this around a bit. Okay, there we go. Rails for the uh, clamp. pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is take this off the table because i got too much goo goober going on. 
All right, I'm gonna set this on the floor back here. <coughs> okay, that will dry. Okay, so now, got to do the same thing for the second table. <coughs> Move this over a little bit, there we go. All right, keep the candle rolling, I guess. And I'll shift it over, and it seemed to work pretty good. And this stuff first, okay, well that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's see what we got going here. I think it goes like this. Okay, so now... Oh, we got that tape thing again. Oh, darn it. Oh, it goes like this. Okay. Cherry. Okay. Let's put this one on first because this was supposedly the one that actually got on there correctly. to uh, Alright, I gotta move this over to the uh, edge of the table. I don't need this brush anymore. Something like that. Uh, I got these two big boy clamps here. my face this time. This is take number three. Yeah, the first take, early this morning I was working on a project 109, a pair of uh, a set of cocktail tables, and uh, I forgot to turn the doggone uh, microphone on, so I'm just sitting here flapping my gums and uh, no noise is coming out. So sorry about that, we'll start all over again. So anyways, I've been working all day on our project 109, 
which is a set of cocktail tables. Uh, I think we looked at the uh, table top here the other day. I'll show you that in a minute. So all day yesterday, I worked on the legs, got all the legs cut out. You can see them here laying on the table, all these legs cut out. Um, I got two sets of two tables, so we got two sets of legs. So this is uh, leg set number two, which goes to, uh, I think, this one. I'm sure this is two. So, and then this is uh, another set of, uh, they're a part of the leg. And then this all fits together here like thus. Just to get like that. Really some sexy looking legs. I really like the way they came out. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so anyways, um, I, I, I'm working on those all day today. Yesterday and today. Basically I cut them all out yesterday and spent most of the day today uh, sanding them. And uh, then the other thing I thought, you know what, I need to put a little uh, fiddle, these little guys here, I need to put these guys uh, in the crotch here, on the top and then on the bottom as well. So uh, I spent a couple hours making up those. So those are fit for leg set one, and this is leg set two. And then I was just getting ready to glue everything, and it dawned on me that, hey, you didn't uh, do the round over to get this uh, little edge here, this edge, all around this edge. I want to do a little one eighth, uh, yeah, one eighth round over on all that so that that's nice and smooth to the touch. So, before we can glue it, we'll uh, uh, hopefully glue it before the day is out today. So, uh, what I'm going to do right now, you can hang around, I'm going to uh, start up the router. I put the roundover bit in, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. And then I'm debating whether I should uh, go ahead and glue the set, glue each leg set together, or if I should just hold off a little bit because in the bottom, on the, on the bottom of this, uh, I have to put an adjust adjustable little foot here. A leveling foot, so I got to get out the leveling feet, and I got to figure out where we're going to put those holes. I don't know if they're, I don't remember if they were uh, uh, 10, 20, uh, 10, 20, uh, yeah, if they were 10, 24, or if they were a quarter 20 uh, insert. So I got to look at that, and then I'm thinking I might want to drill these first, put these inserts in for the levelers, and uh, then glue everything up. I'm afraid once I get the legs put together that uh, uh, drilling that hole, <clears throat> well, I don't know, it'd probably be all right. Because it'll be nice and uh, straight like this, so I can just uh, come down here and, and drill uh, right in there. Yeah, I guess it'll be all right. All right, so that answers the question. I think I'm going to glue them together. Then, uh, after they set up tomorrow, then I'll drill the insert and then match mark each leg set to the uh, table top. So, uh, next on the agenda, you can hang around if you like and watch for a bit. I'm going to uh, run the router bit around everything and do that round over. So, that's what we're going to do next. Let me get my mask on. Yeah, like I said, that, uh, that uh, walnut dust is really a bugger. So, okay, I am going to... Uh, I wonder if that's going to make a difference on that. Hmm. Hmm. That'll be here. You know what? I think I'm just going to. Uh, all right, I got to stop that about a half inch. About a half. I need a piece of one inch stock. There's a piece of one inch. Oh, I need my glasses again.
Tape measure too, but uh, yeah. 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 all right, that's right. Yeah. All right, where have I got this? These are number two. I don't have these. And that's number two. Okay, okay, okay. So this is all the number one of here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Here we go. Oh. I don't know if I marked this. I guess really it's this one. Well, I guess these can go right to the end. Okay, these can go right to the end. These can go right to the end. I don't have to... Okay, so I don't know what happened. The, uh, what do you call it, uh, went off. Uh, the video thing quit, quit recording. Let me see, I, did, I didn't do this one yet. I didn't do that one yet. Hmm, let me down. Okay. So uh, we'll just continue to do our round over here. Alright, so we'll sand these a bit. Hey, you can't buy up here in the old garage. Well, I'm not in the garage, I'm in the house. I think in all the excitement, we forgot to actually uh, show a final video of our table set 109. So here's table set 109, sitting in the house. Yeah, look at that top, beautiful. Some people think it's a checkerboard. It's not a checkerboard, it's just a random design uh, with little uh, inch and a half square uh, pieces of wood. Uh, actually, that wood is um, sapili. Anyways. Yeah, really came out nice. Uh, I like the uh, corner detail, the uh, brass inlay, just beautiful. And I love the legs. Man, these legs are just absolutely some sexy legs. Got a little finnel on the top. See this little guy on the top, little finnel on the top. And there's a similar one over here on the bottom. Yeah, adjustable feet. Man, this, ta this table set is really gorgeous. So, you know what? If you're thinking about a Christmas present for your hubby or something, this would be an ideal gift. So, give me a call, give me a, send me an email, and we'll make one for you. Have a good day. Adios.